Do you want to become a permanent part of the channel? Well, now you can check out the Alliteration Gaming Patreon. Here, you're going to find different tiers that all let you get involved in my videos, as well as provide you some shoutouts, exclusive Discord access, and the ability to see my content early and ad-free. And if you're new here, you're going to need an account on the UGN site to sign up for events, locate stores, and of course, accrue points to redeem for free cards in the mail. Signing up with my exclusive referral code alliteration is going to start you off with 50 bonus points as well as support my work in the process. Regardless of how you help me out, thanks so much. I really appreciate your support. Now let's get on to the video. So it's, it's really funny that you came to me with the lock lock deck because before we did Amajiki, which we did Amajiki before Manifest got revealed, so like we're idiots. Um. <laughs> Oh, and also before one with Adrian Hatband. That too, that too, uh, which is really, really, really funny. Um, but it's really funny because like, Amajiki is a character that I'm super excited for in this set. And then right under Amajiki is probably Lock Lock. So the fact that we're doing those two is uh, is really, really, really funny to me. Um, we're under order we're here, and we are, yeah, we are playing the stun, freeze, commit, seal, literally everything. You have no foundations. Figure out how to play the game with me, dot deck. Uh, so past just that obvious sentence, tell me about some of the uh, the inner workings here of Mr. Order Lock Lock and uh, what you feel like we could go 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 on from here, what you want to see happen in the deck. Um, so the main things that I've uh, kind of picked out is just some of it's order good stuff, like you can't go without Venus of the Torch, you can't go without self-sacrifice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I also want to try feeling the approval, because this also goes within that... Um, control build um as for uh the attack lineup uh for the most part it's also good stuff i'm trying high engine kick i think it's an interesting uh, i'm gonna call it physical move because we're not ranged yeah um that pass it hits you and therefore i get my effect um and then reciprocal burst goes decently well with lock lock's theme of i want to commit everything mm -hmm. uh because it, it just kind of does I, it gets a speed for it and like that's the biggest thing as I was noticing is that I I either have good damage or good speed pump I don't have both and recipro is that well for you now yeah um so I'm not super opposed I would see like jolt and 1.3 the the bread and butter right the bread and butter order good stuff staples can't go anywhere without these obviously jolt even better because it is the most synergistic thing in the entire world with our character we get to stun one and then we get to freeze that one it's epic in gaming now we're a seven hand size character it's super sick um possibly even more um so Honestly, before we go into attacks, before we go into foundations or anything else, actually, I want to pivot down to our blue cards. We have Deadbolt in here. I have Deadbolt in our list to talk about on the side here. There are supposed to be four of these inside of our deck. 100,000%. I think this um, card is insane. I agree. Uh, genuinely, I agree. The big issue that I encountered with trying to build Deadbolt is that I don't want six actions in to cause an issue in my opening hand. Right? Yeah, I, I, I so agree with that. Point. I think four Deadbolt is better than two Deadbolt, two Showdown. This card is so genuinely bonkers. Commit and freeze two things is just crazy. It is stun mm -hmm. too aggressively on this turn and my next turn because they're frozen, so not getting ready. It is stun too for this turn and the next turn, and you have two less foundations when you're trying to kill me. It's like the equivalent of six stuns across three turns, and that's nuts. Right. Successive deadbolt turns is how you kill people with this deck because you're going to say, okay, I come in and freeze your two things. Uh, my character's going to freeze a couple more. You're going to go into my turn now with like four committed things. And then I'm going to start this next turn with another deadbolt and commit two more of your things. And, and you're just going to die. 
you're just gonna yeah. die so incredibly hard. Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, I'm I'm gonna have a hard time not shoving a million of these in like non lock lock decks on these three symbols. <laughs> I, I I think the value this card comes with is just crazy. Um, even if you draw two of them at one point in time, it's a plus one mid block. So you're you're not incredibly pressed about it. Uh, I think this card yeah. is crazy. And like then we like we are lock lock. So we're actually literally never. There's just um. The second you begin the game, right, after your first build turn, there's actually never a turn where you don't want to open with this card. Yeah, that's fair. Because it no, not, I, not only does it say that stun six, it also is now Pot of Greed, right? It draw, it now says draw two, because our character. Yeah. It's, no, I, it makes us an eight-hander. Every turn we see this card, we're an eight-hander with stun two across three turns. It's actually kind right. of crazy, man. <laughs> no, I get that and respect that um i was just try kind of thinking showdown is nice for uh defense as well uh, but incredible. no i'm absolutely gonna put that in the side showdown is so um, good i could even be about like a four and a one um but honestly one of the other things that i wanted to talk about uh with this deck is this is a 60 card deck so fairly slim all things considered i could all like i'm almost tempted to try and like cut the deck even down a little bit maybe like 55 ish because i just think that seeing deadbolt every turn is nuts <laughs> like i genuinely i genuinely just want to draw deadbolt every turn as this character so a slim more controlling deck that's that draws that many cards that's a full move levi uh yeah i mean we might deck out i don't know <laughs> I don't know. I don't think we're gonna deck out. I think we'll. I think we'll find our 1.3s and our momentum and our bursts and kill people before we deck out. Uh, but it's sure. it's it's just a thought. Uh, I just yeah. think that that the turns you see this card at the beginning of your turn, your character is like a whole other beast. Your character has plus no, two I... hand size, and it just it just gets it just gets so crazy. This card's no, I, I get that. I mean, like, it's got I'm, our face on it. It is supposed to be insane. But I really just, oh, man, I cannot stress enough how crazy this card is with this guy. <laughs> no, I get it. I, I'm down to run it at four. I'm down to put Showdown at a one or just two in the side and cut something else if I need to. We'll uh, we'll put it in the put it in the side for now. Um, just in case, just in case we end up coming back to the, the old the old showdown here. Um Compressed Weights is really cool, but I don't think that we need it. I think four Conflict of Ideologies is going to do what we want to do here enough. And uh, yeah. I definitely want to put more... We're kind of getting ahead of ourselves in Foundations here, but spoiler alert. Uh, more Proud Scion. This card is insane. This card's, All right. cra this card's crazy. This card's crazy good. Uh, because this card says if I, it's a, if it's on your board and they have something that it can affect, uh, which is a lot of things in the game. I if you go through every symbol, every sim every single symbol in the game plays a card like at a staple four X pretty much that this card affects. Like it hits the specialist of sounds, it hits the heroic lineages, it hits the basic trainings, the easily excited. Uh, it it hits such an insane amount of stuff it's very hard to fight a deck that this card doesn't hit and then you get to go okay your start phase has begun proud scion commit your thing down now i get plus one draw with rock lock that's nuts yeah yeah it's crazy good uh so like for the time being uh i would just cut this compressed weights and make it a oh it's not in the sideboard boom and then make it a third proud scion i don't know if you gotta get sure. all four that's that's more of a levi thing because i'm just a, a, a shameless lover of this card um, <laughs> but i want to throw that that one card right there real quick before we go into our attacks here um so for our, our attacks obviously the non-ranged part on this guy on the order symbol feels really bad because we can't play grasping tape toss and we can't play tape swing uh two auto damage attacks that we can't play one of them even has stun one uh but uh one thing that we can do is play other throws other throws uh, so I have reverse throw in here, and I have double palm shatter in here. Um, I think if you were to play like four throws and four jolts, I think that's like a super reasonable uh, way to go with your like, these are my attacks that guarantee damage, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I think reverse throw is probably the better one there. Uh, I just kind of had this one as like a backup in case we were like, mm, maybe we've ended up with too many five diffs or something like that. 
Um, and then I have cool ultimatum attacks, uh, right? Gecko Stomp, you don't want to fully block because then we'll get to build. So then you half block it and then I get to do my lock lock response. Very cool. Cat Punch, yeah. same thing. Uh, you can take it and then I get to do my lock lock response or you can block it and I'll draw a card. Either or yep. is fine by me. Uh, Smashing Nomu is even a similar thing, right? Uh, Smashing Nomu is actually super sick with our character because it already has the stun one, and then if, even, even if they find a way to ready that singular one there, if it does hit, the floating effect says, you commit one, now I'll lock lock response, and, and freeze that, that, that bad boy right there. Um, yeah. And then Vile Seizing is just a good stuff card. Uh, the main thing I really want to focus here with this one is this deadlock ability. We definitely have got to put some really sick deadlock into our deck uh, because people are going to realize fighting you and fighting this deck very, very, very quickly that they don't get to attack for like the first three turns of the game. They've just got to build a million foundations real quick or they'll just never get to play the game against you. Uh, so yeah. you're going to want like some real crazy deadlocks. And right now we got only Proud Scion. Uh, which is another reason why I really like Proud Scion in this deck. It's also an insane cool. deadlock. If they happen to like reach that game state and you're like, mm, committing one thing is not a very big deal anymore, uh, you just get to protect yourself from all of their deadlock abilities because it's a deadlock ability that's also a cancel. <laughs> yeah. Um, so as far as what I don't really like in the attacks, I'm going to be honest, I don't know if I'm sold on either of these lock-lock attacks. Uh... I personally really like Locked Up as a 2 on. I think that card is just kind of funny. I can get into um, that. It's 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 the 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 piddliest move in the world, but it does just say stun two, and you have to block it. And sometimes it can be really fast, and that's like I hate that it's a five diff because it just yeah. it just feels like such a bad back alley haymaker. But that's not a fair comparison, right? <laughs> I mean, no, there's nothing that can be compared to back alley. <laughs> nope. But this little doohickey right here. I don't know if I'm crazy about this. It's like a glorified a glorified <laughs> five diff with stun two, a little bit of damage. I'm not feeling it. I think this could easily become um, either a throw or an ultimatum attack or even the vile seasons. I think it becomes a vile seizing. I'm in, um, I'm into it. Um, it's we're gonna have to reevaluate our block zones as well uh, because we're pretty we're pretty low on our on our offs here now, um, especially taking out our showdowns. But we'll 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 we'll, we'll come back to that in our foundation. We can definitely clean that up in our foundations. Yeah, um, but, but we're I'm, also adding some eyes with. Uh, yeah, so that's gonna even um, those uh, even those out a bit more. Uh, yeah, I just think the Vile season is very good in this deck because. Uh, it's it's just like if you want to commit to if you want to commit to for it now I have my lock lock thing ready right because like the interesting part about this character is that if they just build into you you need stun attacks to be able to aggress into them otherwise if you hit them you have nothing to I mean you can freeze it but it's not committed right so who really cares yeah so like it is important to pack a ton of stun um so that's why I, like, I kind of don't mind this as like a little just a little a little help stun um looking at high engine kick if we discard attack it's like an eight high for four and so it's really easy at forcing that poke damage through uh and getting our response off but i think we would just be better off doing that with a throw um so the other part of that is that if they choose to block um high engine kick they're committing down for it right mm -hmm. that was kind of the methodology of wanting a high speed poke yeah, I don't like I, I I don't hate it. I think figuring out how to get your rival stuff committed. I mean, to be honest though, I don't know how much we should worry about those situations because like that means they're like not swinging into us and we can just kind of chill out, right? Yeah, and I don't like know. dictate I mean, the flow of the game. Yeah, I'm just I'm I'm thinking multifaceted because also high to kick does cycle, and if we had a useless foundation, I can try and draw a card i don't know I, I i noticed that the order symbol it used to be a very good draw symbol it's kind of falling off i mean yeah but uh also like if our if our deck is functioning we're like like an eight-hander right so True. i don't think we have True. as like i think i think our if our deck is functioning we're an eight-hander with passing the torch is probably fine especially when drawing True. deadbolt just snap makes us an eight-hander True. 
Like, like this guy's ability to just go deadbolt, like deadbolt, build four or five, and then just like go to three cards on your turn is like, oh my god, man, it's nuts. It's nuts. No, it's okay. It's very good. No I, I, I think that's like the best way to play those tempo turns when they don't aggress into you with this dude. No, that's fair. Uh, so yeah, I'm down to um, to jam. Uh... I kind of like reverse throw, but I could also be sold on the Gecko Stomp or like the Smashing Nomu. I like that these are kind of like pesky little ultimatum cards. And they're both, yeah. they're both off zone, which is also, I mean, they're all off zone. Reverse throw is also off zone. So they're, they're honestly all kind of nice in that regard. Um, I, I, my only issue with reverse throw is like, if we're trying to go for it, like with that in mind, that means we got to go like stun move into reverse throw on a six. And I'm like, this seems like a lot of work to freeze a thing, but that's probably the wrong way to look at it. And the right way to look at it is just, if you go into my turn with a committed foundation, I get to open reverse throw and say, you get one less and I draw a card, and you have to block it, or I'll draw another card. Right, and we'll all, like also just assuming I have a proud sign or whatever. Just I have a way to make you tap down. Right? right, like it's just I think it's yeah I think that's a that's that's like another really really big part of this too. Um, also, I think like we just we're we're like a slow grindy control poke deck, so like we want a throw. We just do, you know. Yeah. Just how the game works. I'm down. It's just I. I do want to be able to go wide a little bit, but I think having some reverse throw, uh, thinking for now, cut the two locked up and two yeah. heightened in, and then play the reverse throw as a two of, as a four of, I mean. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. We're losing, we're losing some stun there, but I don't know. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. I mean, we're losing stun in a deck that has a ton of stun or stun adjacent, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like, ah, uh, like, De Deadbolt just is stun too, you know? <laughs> yeah. That card, that card's so crazy, dude. Holy cow. Stun two or stun four if you're stupid enough to build four against me. Oh, Ooh. man. So freaking good. Freaking Deadbolt, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I think that's that's pretty sick. As far as your 1.3 Recipro Burst split, I think that I, I think I would personally go for 1.3 and 2 burst uh that's fair um because like this card is our win con like we have certainly crafted an attack lineup that is like yeah if i just deadbolt into deadbolt across two turns and then throw one of these bad boys at you you're probably just dead you know <laughs> and, like especially like if you block like an opening poke or two you know we get to do like the fourth kind thing where you're like yeah put a put a, a card or two into your pool and then i uh, you just like mathematically die to this every time yeah so i think that's no, I'm that. yeah i think this is super fine um especially with like i mean you know, again like we do have like one attack that kills people for the most part. i mean burst will kill people as we get momentum which we do have reverse throw and jolt now so it'll it'll happen yeah it'll happen um that being said our poor off zones our poor off zones have been so eviscerated uh first thing i want to do uh i think we have to give up on saving bakugo and play a zero that is an off zone yeah that's right i think uh desperate times is the answer because it's the only high among them so i do have a couple highs i want to throw in the deck i actually think you're okay. finished is the one here simply because of its deadlock I can see that. Um, deadlock, do we have uh, other uh, deadlock other, option? Other, yeah, so I do really want to put uh, potentially League Invitation in this deck and potentially Final Exam Failures. Uh, deadlock options also. Oh, Deadlock, Deadlock, Deadlock. Uh, no, no. We've put Vile Season oh. in, and then we still have Proud Scion, and that's basically okay. that's basically it. We I was like, no time to waste the four death foundation oh yeah yeah yeah. this card's crazy this card's crazy i mean we have a deadlock but that was what i was checking for takes care oh, of yeah. their deadlocks <laughs> oh, yeah, um that... yeah you're finished deadlock is just so crazy like, because not only is it targeted commit it also says draw a card because you know yeah, like yeah. like oh my god this, yeah this card's this card's nuts this card's really really good 
Um, no, I'm done with that. So I'll just I'll just make that swap right now, and then you know maybe we play with it a little bit if we can't find uh, the right zones elsewhere. Um, so looking into our foundations here, this is like a really really tight foundation lineup. I mean we are only a 60 card deck, so it makes sense. Uh, we do got to find some high blocks, ideally taking out some mid blocks, which is gonna be a little rough. We're already only running two passings. Um, and then a lot of this other stuff is pretty like staple things. I think mm, I think we have to sacrifice calling for backup actually. Cut it entirely, or maybe. Two I mean, one. I mean, we gotta we gotta get some we gotta get some off zones in this bad boy. We we just yeah. we, we just do we just do. Um, I think mm -hmm. uh, either that or maybe we can play with our ice gliding number because one of the off zones I want to put in is heroic lineage. Because uh, it's just very, very good yeah. speed reduction. Although we're not hurting for lows as much, so maybe well, that's. Could you that after we did the. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't think you did. Oh, we, you did. Oh, mm -hmm. shocking, weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've done. Oh, because we're finished. Oh, is a low block. I was thinking is a hot. Yes, we have we have pumped in the year finished now. Um, alternatively, we could crank the tapes up and just like be okay with our block zone sucking a little bit. That's kind of why I put tape in it, is because yeah. I like to add a lot of mids more. But uh, I don't know. I think I think if there's cards that we'd actually rather want in our deck that are off zones, that's like a better route to pursue. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I think final exam failures is randomly very good in this deck uh, because, uh, like worst case scenario, it just says flip and stun one, and then yeah. and then all of those problems we were talking about just whisk away, right? I'll open reverse throw, flip failures, you'll commit one, and now I'll hit you and I'll freeze it, and and things are just kosher. Yeah. Um, I think this would be like a nice little like three of inside this deck, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I also really like, I know it's a mid block, so it's like, yeah, but I like Mastermind's Apprentice in here a lot as, uh, not only more speed reduction and also ways to like get rid of our foundations we don't want, but also it just says that we can put plus two speed on 1.3 million and that's kind of our win con. I, I thought about Mastermind's Apprentice. Um, that was definitely in the, the mindset when I was kind of building it initially, but, mm -hmm. uh, or you know what the, we could do? Um, what to solve the whole masterminds apprentice is a mid block option uh issue we could play in control for a very similar thing that's a four check but i'm down it is a very ugly four check but it is on demand plus two speed to 1.3 which is pretty sick no, I'm, I'm down for that no that's uh that's totally fine by me it might be like the... i said the masterminds was in my uh was in my radar initially but the mid block plus two difficulty when I already have a lot of two diffs that I am yeah, very hard to work in here. Add. Five, nine, eleven, thirteen. So we got thirteen and twenty three on our spams to non spams. So Wait, we actually, so many non -spams. We act yeah, we actually have we actually have a really nice leeway to put in some more non spams if we want. Um, I think I I tend to go the other way, but that's. We, I mean, we have basically a third, right? Which is pretty. We, we have a lot. We have we have a generous amount of spams in this deck. You know, yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't go like too crazy with it. Um, but if you were like calling for backup or tape could become non spams, like I I I would agree with you. I think two calling for backup can go. Yeah, I think we can make that a two of. Um, make that a two of. Let's jam in. I don't know, two of this for now. Let's see where that takes us. I'll start cleaning this up a little bit too because we can get these get these inferior low block zeros out of here. Even though foresight is very sick, it's uh, it's not your finished sick. <laughs> no, like... that card is nuts. Um, I'm gonna take intense stare out of here. It's cool, but uh, we are already too taxed for the for the mid block situation. It's also discard a card to maybe top down a thing. It's like, mm. yeah, yeah. Again, it is like like a little bit of on demand committal to make sure that we have things to freeze. But, eh, eh. we're kind of past the point where we're worried yeah, about that. Yeah, I, I think I think we're so fine with that, man. Um, I I know you said you really wanted to try this card. I don't I don't think it has a place in our deck. 
anything that we don't like, we're just gonna commit down. Yeah, that's fair. I I like the cards. I do it's like going, the, It's I going do. into my Funny Fudge Eraser deck, because like I said, the uh, release hoses that deck, so Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Just like seal all of your all of your speed reduction. Card's pretty gnarly. Um, I think I think for for this deck's purposes, uh, man, I don't know. So like, I have Lee Invitation in here, but I also have no time to waste in here because like, oh my god, this card is just doing everything that it, that we it want does to what do. We want. <laughs> I I think it's like a sick one of. I I can agree with that. I think it's like a super gnarly one of, and then if we can find another one somewhere for the two seals going, that can be the third final exam failures. I'm down to make a one of league invitation as well. I'm super down for a one of league invitation. That puts us at essentially five uh, higher than two diffs, which is fine. That's fine. Yeah. League invitation is also like incredibly good for our deck. It's also another and instance of um, of like commit plus two speed to one point three, right? Yeah, uh, and that, is... that's kind of what I was thinking. Is like it's a pseudo speed. Yeah, because it's... if you have you know, if you have one thing in your pool, a five speed 1.3 can't be stopped. Um, right. And that's just very strong. Or if you check badly, a five speed 1.3 can't be stopped, uh, which is just really, really strong. Yeah. So our, our zones are looking a little, a little, a little hot now. I, I'm, I'm, I'm picking up where we're going now. Um, I think it'd be cool to get one of these two in here now between the masterminds and the in control honestly we're not really hurting for low block so i think we could go either way with it um i think it'd just be nice to have a little bit more uh a little bit more help when it comes to speed because we do want to block a lot this is a very defensively minded deck so my my thought is we're already kind of running past the point of comfortable non-spam our non-spams i it's tough to cut anything i really like where our non-spams are at here um like conflict is like the whole deck you know it's hard not to want to just max this guy out two passing is already like so so little you know it's uh <laughs> i'm only okay with it because our guy draws cards so here was here's where i was kind of thinking right mm -hmm. um I'm thinking we go because if you go down, we actually added a one extra card. We did. Um, on one point. But what here's what I'm thinking is we cut one of the final exam failures. <gasps> Hold. <laughs> and then we'll add two desperate times, and oh, then just throw serious. in a, and then throw in one more attack because then it would also be another thirty-three percent. Attack line up at 21 attacks. But my dead points. bolts! <laughs> I, I hear you, so I don't think we're cutting in general at this point. I think we're past that. I think we could. I think, like, conflict could be a three. I think call in for backup or tape could go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but how comfortable with that are you? I'm super comfortable with that. Oh, okay. I'm I'm, I mean, I'm 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 not pressed about drawing cards. If our deck is operating correctly, we're gonna be like an eight hander all the time. But if our deck is operating correctly, well, then we don't have to worry about not finding deadbolt. Well, we do though, right? Because finding deadbolt is what I mean by our deck operating correctly. <laughs> right, but we're also still like when we have a sixty-three card deck and we're running with a uh, six hander, right? Assuming we're going first and we build four, that's six, ten cards that are being seen in the first turn. And then we might review one, then draw five more. Or more if they decided to build um, a, 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 a new training method, right? Uh, <laughs> obviously not banking on that but you know at that point we've seen 15 cards if we don't see 15 cards if we don't see one deadbolt in 15 cards i think something's wrong but it's about seeing it every 15 cards true i if you if you want to go a little bit bigger on the deck i'm here for it 
There are definitely I, I, things I, that we can put in. At this point, it, it's your baby. <laughs> you no, 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 no. Listen, my my lock lock deck is on the all symbol with all of the eraser head weapons because deadbolt procs all of the play and action requirements. That's my baby. <laughs> Why the hell did I build? <laughs> your order. I just got the whole deck going off. Because because Jolt is not balanced. That's why. I, that's fair too. It, it, why does it not stay ranged? I don't know. Crazy, <laughs> crazy. Um, so if you want to pump it up a little bit to get some more juicy foundations in here, I, I'm here for it. I think we can go either way. I'm down to also cut a few cards. Like we can cut a self sacrifice. Um, I think we could. I think actually the play is just even up self sack and bonds because we need the high blocks more than anything. Yeah, I can agree with that. We'll um, just do that. I'm down to cut calling because we should just be drawing a shit ton of cards anyway. It's gone. It's gone. Be gone with um, it. Be gone with it. Now we can put a card in. Ho -ho. Ho -ho. Or we can take more out for <gasps> Ho -ho. 55 that we wanted. Like Ho -ho. I said, I. I I I think we could cut high engine and go to eighteen attacks. Eighteen attacks, that's fine. I mean, I figured that was gonna be the case. Is that we're crazy? We we're going crazy. Going crazy, crazy with it. Eighteen and fifty-five. Is that reasonable? We cut two more cards. That's more than reasonable. Let's cut. Let's cut one. Cut let's, cut, let's cut one more card. Let's cut one low block. Let's cut one low block. One. Oh, I don't want to cut I, it. I don't want to cut any of these low blocks. <laughs> I like all these. <laughs> Shoot. <dude. I> <laughs> I, I know the low block we're cutting. We're going to cut one Proud Scion because that's not a low block. Oh, hell no. We ain't touching Proud Scion. <laughs> it's not two of them. It's the best card in the deck. <laughs> we don't want five non spams. <laughs> like incredible non spams. You sick. In a 55 card deck. You, you, you sick. I'm it. not wrong, and you know I'm not. All right. So that means we're cutting the League Invitation. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not cutting a high. <laughs> You don't understand the power of Proud Zion, Ulysses. I understand the power of Proud Zion. I also understand that if I build three of them, that's three committed on my turn. It's sickening me. It's sickening me. I'm I've also right, it. and you know them. I've done it. I've compromised with you. Why, why are you booing me? I'm right. I've compromised with you. Our block zones are now schmexy. We got a, we got 56 I, cards. We got four deadbolts. They ain't going to play the game with us. No, we're, this is my game, and you are just... Lucky to be watch me play solitaire. Yep, you're just here to watch, buddy. I think we have what four, eight, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty, and fourteen on our ratio. That's that's epic. That's epic. I dig it. I'm I'm super into it. And the only thing that we didn't touch in the long run was a little bit of speed manipulation. Um, but I I, I don't know what we're touching here. I genuinely yeah, don't know. It's a the, the only reason why I don't want to add in control at this point is because it's just a too difficulty low block when I filthy. already have ice gliding, which is a filthy. Oh, it's like check. the four is like the four is like the most irrelevant for me. It's just... oh no 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 I no no we hate the four okay the four, I, I, the four is it, disgusting. It's a factor, but the other two factors <laughs> make that a bond. Yeah, yeah, no, our, our our zones are pretty much fine at this point. Uh, if anything, I would consider I would consider Mastermind before anything else. But I honestly, nah, I, I, I think with four ice gliding and and all of the freeze in the world, I, I think I, we're fine. I think we're fine. And I think we're fine too. Yeah, if it feels like the missing link, it's the missing link, and and, yeah, and, and, and you jam it in. Yeah, and at that point, that's just going into the sideboard just to make sure. Um, yeah. I think the only thing that we might want to would might want to run in the future is heroic lineage. I think that's a uh... yeah lineage lineage. I I could see coming in over maybe like I don't know maybe maybe cutting like one of these two and maybe like a conflict or something like that. Just yeah. be a little more you know we might be too like you know we 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 got so far into the into the the concept of the deck that we forgot to put cards that let us also play the actual game. <laughs> Right. But that remains to be seen. And until then, until then, my friend, we're gonna draw so many deadbolts. We're gonna draw deadbolts, and we're gonna draw more off the deadbolts, and then we're gonna draw more from the start of the turn, and then we're gonna draw more from the deadbolts. 